Hey guys, gone. Ty Buck here. Today, I'm going to be hauling some hay. So, we got this 10 bale trailer. It's hooked on my pickup. It's a good old Chevy. I'm standing behind a bale because the wind's blowing. I don't know. I'll mess up the audio. But, we got the old 7120 with the Quaker. Quaker loader. 554. Or 545. And, yeah, we're going to be loading some hay today. Now, I did put the drone in the air, but this is a spot where you don't get a lot of cell service or GPS stuff. So you guys won't see any drone footage off this area, but you guys will see some more. Probably only going to make one of these videos, just because it's kind of a time crunch to get this done. So first thing we're going to do is put the cradles up. You just flip them up, lock the pin in the back. It's got a little deal back there you hit. There you go, cradles are flipped up. Now you gotta do is, it's basically just a jack. There's just pins up there that are locking. And then you jack. Basically it's just a regular jack. And you just crank it until they're locked. And then you're done, then you start loading. So we're gonna go ahead and start loading. Um, this'll probably be prairie hay or some other crop of hay. This here is alfalfa, but it's probably going to be prairie hay or an alfalfa field off a different spot. So you can't put the drone in there, but that'll be on another day. Might even be cloudy. We'll see. All right, so if you guys will notice, there is very high winds in this drone shot. Um, I figured I'd do a drone shot because I didn't think I'd do one at the house stacking hay because I figured somebody else would do it, and that's just what happened. Someone else stacked the hay. I hired hand stacked the hay at the house i was just stacking this hay to um get it out of the way so we can haul more hay in and i was in the area driving by so i figured i'd swing in there stack it and actually you can see okay so if you look at the front tires both of them are orange they're both actual like tractor tires they're actually combine tires off of our old gleaner our old l2 that we had a long long time ago um we bought those in case the tires off the gleaner would blow up we would throw those on there they're old truck tire truck rims i think is what my dad said truck truck tires they're recapped that's why they look a little rough but actually i did blow one um at this same yard this isn't our yard this is somebody else's yard that we do cows for we watch their cows for them and they have hay and we cut their hay and that's actually their land back there their beans we'll probably have some bean footage on that field maybe and some corn back there and they have some bins but anyway so yeah this is me stacking hay now the drone shots are really shaky but the wind is blowing like 30 mile an hour so i am very amazed by this drone the new drone i got is amazing i like it a lot um it's really shaky but that's why because you can see the wind just whipping you can see the trees you can see the the weeds over there i mean they're just flying around so yeah the weeds are going crazy and there was they burnt some trees in their yard and they wanted me to clean up some ashes so I went over there and cleaned up the ashes and there was a cable in the ashes so when I scooped up everything and I got the cable in the bucket and I lifted the bucket and I knew there was a cable in it I saw the cable um dragging but I didn't think it was catching anything because it was kind of you know it was in the center and I didn't think it was catching anything as I was going to the pile to dump it in a different spot to dump it in a ditch or something where they had different junk and area so i went over there to dump it and like three foot before i reached the pile i hear this big old pish, and i actually blew the passenger side front tire and it cut it and we had to take the whole spindle off because it wrapped around the spindle too kind of my bad kind of my fault um not much you can do about it just sucks it was actually not that expensive to fix i thought we were going to need a new wheel hub or a new hub and new bearings and all that it turned out we just needed to seal and some other stuff it was only about a hundred dollars to fix it not bad we were thinking a thousand to fix it but only a couple hundred which was good so yeah we got the ashes cleaned up and then we go to the okay this is the only other drone shot i got um it's of me loading hay um i can load hay pretty fast i loaded this load in about 15 minutes which is really fast um i'll probably have it sped up but you can see the hay around there so i can load them 
pretty fast. Um, you can see the hay, the hay in the back. That's actually the neighbor's hay. Um, this is all one big land landowner's farm. Anyway, we cut this hay. We do 50-50 split on this hay. So we'll take 50 of each cutting bales. There's three cuttings here. You can see the different colors on the hay stacked along the side where I just grabbed it from. But there's third, second, and then first. There's a lot of first, a little less, and then it just gets less and less. Um, the neighbors have cut their hay there. That's not our hay work. That's the neighbors. He hired that out because we can't cut cane or feed or millet they're all the same thing with our swather just because it's too thick and it's too tall and all that but anyway yeah today it's it's about dark it's almost dark this is like at seven eight o'clock now um yeah it just kind of gets like that but anyway you can see the tires um you can see there's two different tires now the original the gray tire on the other side on the passenger side is actually the original tire that came with the tractor well it's not the original tire i don't think it's the original tire but that's the one that's supposed to be on it the little four ribbed tires instead of the orange ones the reason why we have the orange ones on there is one they're a little taller you can get a little more clearance they're narrower so you can plow through mud and stuff because the loader you know we always use the loader in the winter and the mud and the crap weather um you can just get through a lot more stuff plus you can turn because they have the tractor tires are on backwards so they grab traction when you turn so when you turn the wheel they grab traction the big fat tires tend to float on top and just kind of slide so you have to use your turn brakes it's a lot harder but the reason that's the reason why we don't have them on there plus we have these other tires and all that um it's just easier just to throw the bigger tires on but yeah so that's why that's like that because we blew the tire from the cable from the other place that we were just on and then i made this that's why there's a different tire on there um we'll get it switched um they actually have the tire done they got it done yesterday um they got it done the 20th so yeah that's the video and then here i spin around and look at some stuff so anyway i think i've got my drone speaking of drone i need to update it we're actually doing wet corn i might do a little video in later just some clips of it probably there you go just messing with it and swung it over gonna get some more bales but anyway yeah i didn't show it of unloading just because it's really hard to unload the trailer because we need to get a new jack for it because it's super hard to turn it and it was windy it, it was windy the only day that it wasn't windy is this day here this day was the only calm day we had see there you can see the tires but this is the only calm day we had this is the only day i flew my drone other than the other day that was super windy but i really didn't want to fly it when it was windy other than that it's been windy every single day that i've hauled hay like i said except for this one it has been windy very very windy and i could not believe how windy it was because usually it's not that bad but anyway hope you guys did enjoy the video if you want to see some more exclusive content some more updates some more really anything in real life i'm posting daily pictures on the community tab if you sign up for membership 99 cents or a dollar whatever you want to call it i'm just gonna say a dollar you sign up you get pictures daily i might do some clips once we get going some breakdown stuff just kind of update just explaining what went on during the day doing a little bit of that um obviously the more the better all the money that gets it i'm just gonna make i might do a giveaway if i make enough money from it but we'll just see i'm gonna keep promoting it and doing that here i spin it around and i'm just gonna go ahead and time lapse the end here there's the road we built actually right there you saw it it's really rough basically we just disc the crap out of it and we drove over it it's really rough we need to disc it and do some scraper work to it that just kind of is that um but yeah that's pretty much it like i said hope you guys did enjoy if you did hit that thumbs up button for me and if you're not subscribed please do subscribe and make sure and hit that notification bell because this month i'm going to be posting just random times i don't even know if, when i'll post or what days but just keep up with the community tab i'll tell you guys when i post if you're a member you'll know when i post if not 
Sorry, I probably won't mention it. I might, I might not, but I'm just going to post random throughout the month, real life footage, whenever I get it out, because it's going to be hard to get footage and stuff out and together and all this. That's why I'm doing this early. It's probably going to go out October 1st. I don't really know. Maybe on my birthday. We'll see. And we will hopefully see you all in the next one.